the day the crayons quit. This is one of my favourites. You may remember when I dressed up as the uh, purple crayon on World Book Day. The day the crayons quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long I wear myself out colouring fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to colour all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. <clears throat> Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for grapes and dragons and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I'm proud and I'm also tired of being second place to Mr Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears and ponies and puppies while I just get things that are turkey dinners if I'm lucky and wheat. Let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about colouring in wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, it's grey crayon here. You're kidding me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are grey but that's a lot of space to colour in all by myself. And don't even get me started on the rhinos and the hippos and the humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling all of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. And our tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while? Give me a break from your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, are you colour with me? But why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as the page you're using, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colouring snow or filling the empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Hi Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are coloured in by other colours, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a beach ball and then fill in all the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? From your friend, Black Crayon. Hey Duncan. As Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say I, that I like my work lots of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I've no problem and I wish to congratulate you on very successful of colouring things green career so far. The second reason I'm writing is that my friends Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, uh, they're no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Uh, dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the colour of the sun. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun on your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, is page seven. You can't miss me. I'm the shiny down brilliant one in a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Hello, Duncan. I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big winger. Anyway, could you please tell Mr Tattletail that he is not 
the colour of the sun. I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the colour of the sun, because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo colouring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha <laughs> ha! Your pal and the real colour of the sun, orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favourite colour this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all the oceans and lakes and rivers and raindrops and rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is I'm so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing of the crayon box anymore. I need a break from your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan! Okay, listen here, kid. Uh, you've not used me once in the past year because you think I'm a girl colour, don't you? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to colour her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me once in a while to colour the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour from your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey, hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and I'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help from your naked friend, Peach. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to colour. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Look at his amazing picture. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring and a gold star for creativity. Oh, did you enjoy that? Thanks for listening.